And the eight Republican presidential candidates have wrapped up another debate, this one focusing on national security. Here's a look at the highlights, all in 60 seconds. I'm Mitt Romney, and uh, yes, Wolf, that's also my first name. No, Blitz, that's oversimplifying here. <laughs> <laughs> since, since we own a... Since we're on a blitz debate. The tool of war being used today in America and around the world is terror. The government should have many more tools in order to save our lives. You can still provide security without sacrificing our Bill of Rights. Try to find that balancing act between our individual liberties and security. Pakistan has been the epicenter of dealing with terrorism. The United States has to be engaged. It is complicated. People have lost trust in their institutions of power in America. Wisely spending that money, not on our enemies, but on folks who can and will be our friends. The biggest threat to our national security is our financial condition. We can cut till the cows come home, but it still would not solve the problem until we have effective economic growth. There are lots of things you can do if you decide to break out of the current mindless bureaucracy of the city and just get the job done. Not a lot of fireworks it wasn't last as, yeah, night. It wasn't, wasn't as it, feisty as it usually you is. Know, the big thing is Newt kind of coming out and agreeing to some level of uh, kind of unveiling a little bit of his immigration policy, saying some of those folks should be allowed to stay here illegally. Kind of breaks him, separates him from the pack in terms it's, of the GOP. That's right. It's sort of that compassionate conservative. And again, I really think that that will resonate with a lot of voters. I mean, when I heard that, I thought, wow, that's, a, that's very risky. Yeah, he did. I assume that's a calculated move to some extent. We'll yeah. see how it plays in the polls.